So, here's a little update on the cart. Uh, wiring is coming along. I've got the mixer off. It, it fits just right uh, because I want to put another one inch hole up here for some cables. I think it'll neaten things up. I'm sort of midway doing that. I have to protect the cables and whatnot from the shavings. It's bad timing, I know, but I had to do it. But So the wiring, I had the mixer in there. The uh, 788's off to the shop. Um, got this all sort of buttoned up. Uh, in there, and I don't know. I'm not. I'm not convinced this is right. I'm, I think I'm going to have to put put these cables inside so they don't get hooked on something. This side, on the other hand, uh, I can leave these out. They're pretty well. I'm of the Velcro school. I got uh, for my next door neighbors uh, rolls of female and male non adhesive Velcro that I'm using for, for cable management. Pretty happy with that. It doesn't work all the time, but enough. This looks a lot better. The stuff's more secure. Used uh, butyl tape, very th very thin, the scotch. Um, scotch adhesive tape to secure the keyboard to the drawer. And that's just a just a line of it along here, maybe sides too. This is Velcro. So yeah, cabling coming along, coming along. Still have a lot of work to do under here, but it's the same Velcro strategy. I think I have to really do. Um, I should I should do a full carpet, of soft Velcro like I did on the back here, uh, both on both on this side of this shelf, which was uh, metal, and on the other side as well. Um, used. As John spoke about, used the um, 3M dual lock. Um, on the Lectro IFB, um, both on this side and on this side, I put carp you know, carpet Velcro soft side on this shelf, both sides, too, so maybe you know, I might have to, I don't know, that yeah, feels pretty good. This is also um, done with Velcro to this carpet bottom. This, uh, the uh, 3M stuff really sticks pretty solidly to, to the carpet. I'm pretty happy with its stickiness. Not sure about where I can keep this still it gets moved around quite a bit I'm also working out a replacement of the uh, M216 it used to live used to live over here and it may yet it's just about this four pin and I think this is the right spot for it um, I, I set up where I propose to have my sides here and uh, this is really about the sides so if I put it in here maybe at a little angle up uh, I can bend that over and I can bend it bend it up and over and I can also use it to illuminate the uh, mixer from a different angle if I need it so that's I think that's the spot that's what I think So yeah, I did uh, say, you know, the I, I didn't really fully address one issue. This AC bank uh, that comes with some uh, protection. So I've got two levels, three levels of protection, at least four levels between, you know, any signal and my gear. But this shelf for a, a phone charging station, 
I think that would be awfully nice. So I need to get some uh, chargers, various chargers, looking to do some trades. I have some Nokia chargers, an overabundance of them if anybody wants some. So yeah. Oh, and I managed to get another oh, 12 inches on my um, antenna masts in height. Just rewiring the cables or, you know, rerouting them a little more efficiently with more holes in the cart superstructure. So yeah, it's coming together. Pretty nice. I moved, I moved the Lectro antenna. I have to add like three quarters of an inch to that SNA. I think I, I think I can do that. Like they did for the, for the PR216 with the SNA600. Yeah, it's a pretty reliable antenna there. We'll see. So I've is and I've isolated that 2.4 gig away from those antennas. I'm not sure this is enough width, though. I may have to to get a bigger, use the bigger mast. I have one on hand. Uh, reluctantly, though, I'm trying to keep it small. So yeah. Former cart. Oh, it looks so sad. Bent, poor baby. And the new cart. You can get pretty small. I removed those shelves and the handles on the right. It's uh, 30, 30 something. I'll measure it next time I get a chance. So there you go. Little update.